Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is December 31st. Um, by the time this is posted, hopefully, hopefully it's tomorrow, um, which will be New Year's, because I just want to start this year off right. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be my New Year's resolution, um, the ones that I feel comfortable sharing, because you know I do have my personal resolutions that you know aren't for the internet. But it is currently. Six oh five. I got military time, so it takes me a little minute. But it's December, so um, it gets dark around like five o'clock. It gets dark around like five o'clock. So I have my TV on a white screen. I have my iPad on a white screen, and that's how I'm getting my lighting right now. So it doesn't look bad on camera. Hopefully, it looks good. I'm um, editing as well because I do not want to give you guys a crappy video. So we're just gonna start. No, like we're just gonna wait. No, wait, wait, wait. We're just gonna jump into the video. Number one, I do want to be more productive um, in my personal life, far as you know, just getting things done around the house, um, getting my work done, you know, just being productive um, in my everyday life. And I also want to be more productive on YouTube. I have the resources to, um, Ma, do not come in here and start. I'm not coming in now. Um, I have the resources to be more productive on YouTube and I just it's just a matter it's just a matter of me, you know, getting up and doing it, stop being lazy, stop saying, Oh, I'll do it later, I'll record it later. No. And that ties into my next one, uh procrastination. I <coughs> um I watched a TED talk about procrastination in class and it was saying how well, I don't know. I don't know why I brought it up because I can barely remember it. But if I find it, I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, because it, I remember thinking, like, this is a really good TED Talk. Like, it was about procrastination and the they used the metaphor of a monkey in your mind and other things. Like, it was it was really good. I think TED Talks are a really good thing to get into. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, procrastination. I hate it. Like, that'll be the death of me. I'll have an assignment due at 11.59 and I'll start it at 11.20. And you know, I, I I always do things last minute. I get them done maybe because I know that I work. I kind of work well under pressure, but then it stresses me out. And then I, you know, I cry or I get, you know, I get, you know, so plus is it flustered? Is the word I'm looking for? I don't know, but I get so you know worked up about it, which you know shouldn't be the case because I should have did the assignment, you know, when I first got it two three weeks ago instead of waiting all the way to the last minute. So I tried to do, um, that kind of started, um, when I did online school, when I did online school last year, I started doing like all my assignments, me and my friends, we started doing our assignments the day before the deadline for report cards came out. We were turning in like 20 assignments that night and, and I think I kind of just got used to that because I was in, in online school for so long. Like I did, I did the end of seventh grade. So the half of seventh grade year, I did it online, and then which is when we went into lockdown, and then I um, did the first half of eighth grade online as well. So when I got back in school, that habit kind of came back, and I was missing a lot of assignments. I ended up getting the man. I didn't have bad grades or anything, but it just wasn't. It wasn't fun. It's not fun because I still do it to this day, and I admit it. I do do it. D I shouldn't see next I have communicate more it kind of ties into my last one which I'll talk more about my last one when I get to that point but my last one is stay positive but um communicate more when I say communicate more I mean you know just express myself I, I tend to when I get in my feelings or I get upset or someone upsets me or the fact that they ask me what's wrong I don't I say oh no nothing is fine nothing I'm fine and I keep you know I just keep going about my day and I hate it because I push all of my anger my fear my everything all my feelings pretty much I push them down push them down to the point where I kind of like forget about them along the way and then they come up when I get really really mad and it's just that's not a good 
I, I guess you would call it a habit, but I think it is hereditary. I think I do get it from my father because he kind of does the same thing. I'm, he kind of does the same thing, and I say that because my dad, he's the type, if something's bothering him, he just, he leaves. He tends to leave and, you know, go to work or he leaves and plays music like that's his escape that's so that's his way of like escaping his feelings that he doesn't you know really talk about it or whatnot he just kind of like just, just shuts it off my mom on the other hand she doesn't she expresses her feelings she's very very she's very 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 verbal um she gets her point across and that's not like me so um i i really stop doing that more because i realized that when you bottle up your emotions and you finally get a little bit of breakthrough it is it's a terrible breakthrough and what i mean by that is you you just you build up this anger you build up this sadness you build up this emotion only for you to get like a little bit of comfort you get a little bit of comfort with somebody and you break down because of you break down all your feelings are coming out at one time and it's not good it's not good um so if you're the type to do that don't <laughs> just don't try to try to keep a uh, video diaries or an actual diary if you like writing if you don't really like writing like i hate writing um do video diaries if you have a laptop record yourself even your phone keep um a digital diary of yourself and maybe it'll help you feel better all right next we have be more confident in my actions so this one is kind of straightforward it's be more confident in my actions next we have marketing I put marketing on my resolutions list because I want to expose my YouTube channel, um, my social medias in general because there's so much stuff I can do. <laughs> like there's so much stuff I can do with this channel. There's so much money in a YouTube channel, which I encourage you guys if you have if you do not have one already, please get one. It's a good way to make you some money. I need to um, open my mouth more and get you know. Um, get my brand out not really my brand but get my name out there get my channel out there if you haven't this already make sure you go and uh, follow my tiktok and my snapchat um at the underscore kyla all of my social media is pretty much the same the underscore kyla um well it is the same and i would like to tell you guys about this new app that i just got depop if you do not know what Depop is, Depop is a retail app where you can get clothes out of your closet, old clothes you don't want anymore, clothes you just don't really like, clothes that your aunt got you in 2018 that you haven't really worn. You can still wear it, but you just don't want it because it just screams old lady. You can put it on Depop and sell it for money and hopefully another old lady will come and take it off your hands for some money simple as that oh so if you haven't done so already again make sure you follow me on all my platforms snapchat tiktok depop oh and while you're here i have 30, 33 minutes of footage i don't know how long this video is right now but you've stayed this long i mean you might as well subscribe because if you're not subscribed now and you're this far into the video you probably go a week or two you'll be like dang what was that girl name of you don't even have to remember like that. You can just go to your subscriptions and you can find me. Like, it's not that hard. Just click the subscribe button and go about your business. Come back to me later. Because if you don't want to see the rest of me now, you're definitely going to want to see more of me later. So, go ahead and subscribe. Back to the video. The next resolution is be myself. Going back to, you know, my schools and all my friends and things of that sort. I never really learned how to be myself. Um, because I was always trying to be someone I was not. I was always trying to get the hairstyles that someone else had. You know, I was just being a big copycat, if you would. And I've definitely grown out of that. You will definitely not catch me now trying to be like this girl and that girl. Oh, uh, I'm not that, that. I'm not on that right now. Like, if we have the same thing, oh, maybe it's a coincidence. Like, great minds think alike. It's not no. Oh, she's trying to copy me. Please, I, I. I have a whole series of Grey's Anatomy to do. I could care less about what hairstyle you finna get this week, next week, when you got your wigs from, when you got your lashes from, when you got your nails done at. <laughs> I don't even care. Half the time I'm not paying no attention. If I do pay attention, it's to say, 
oh girl, I like your hair. I like your nails. I like your shoes. Like, you know, on positive stuff. Not no, mm, she thinks she rocking that wig. I can rock it better and go get it. No, that's not even, that's not even remotely close to what type of stuff I'm on. There's still some things that I need to figure out about myself, but that's more of like a personal resolution type thing. You hear it a lot, you hear it on social media everywhere. Everyone on social media, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. It's like a broken record. And the more we hear a broken record, the more we just learn the lyrics and don't actually listen to the song. So I've definitely seen a lot of those be yourself videos. And it's like, yeah. It's like, oh my God, they're cooking a turkey. Like, that's how my attention span is because I've heard it so much. But I've never really tried to do it. And I think that 2022, every year is a new, is a new, is like a reset button. Another 300, 365 to 66 days to um, kind of restart your life, kind of take a new beginning, um, try to become, you know, do something new. Don't do the same old stuff that you did last year. It's just, it's no point. You're alive another year and yet this is how you treat it. You treat it poorly. You treat it how you did last year. You treat it how, you, like you just feeding over this boy who did you wrong last year. Being over him this year, guess how your year is going to go? It's going to go poorly unless you grow. Unless you take this reset button and actually use it, you're just going to be sitting there like, oh my god, he should have chose me and choose me, pick me, love me. Pick me, choose me, love me. Okay, Meredith Gray, like, okay. But, um, yeah, so I just think that. If you needed a sign to tell you, girl or guy, leave that person alone. Leave that activity alone. Leave that situation alone. Do you. Be yourself. Next is stay positive. This just wraps up all of my resolutions because in each of these actions, I need to stay positive. And let me see. And my first one, be more productive on YouTube. And the marketing one, be positive. Like, I have to be, I have to trust the process. I, I, the, I have to trust the process. I don't need to shut down the minute my YouTube channel doesn't get a hundred views on a video. Don't say, oh, this is, this is useless. This has no point. I give up and just stop. No, I have to be positive and be more confident in my actions. I have to just be positive to me. I don't have to, you know, think about someone else. I don't, I, just as long as my actions don't hurt any hurt anyone we're good to go and not hurting anyone that's a positive action right there like i don't know what else you need to say um decreasing procrastination that's a pop that creates a positive environment um being yourself self-explanatory yeah so that wraps up my 2022 new year's resolution i am so excited to be going into this new year with positive mind um, i don't know what teacher says this but she says positive thoughts positive outcomes can't tell you what teacher said that but i gotta hear me say the subject because i just don't remember and oh i know who said that i think you know what i'm not gonna stress about it because the more i stress about it the more i sit here in my bed for 15 more minutes trying to trying to think about what teacher said that but yeah, positive thoughts, positive outcomes. Take that thing into your 2022 year. I wish you all the best year ever. Click the subscribe button to claim it. <laughs> Click the subscribe button or the like button to claim it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I shut up. I shut up the time. I'm so sick. Jari, do not call him a party head. But I'm going. What you gonna get? Chick-fil-A? Mm -hmm. Text him. That would be nice, yeah, right? Good New Year's. Nice, yeah. 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 <laughs> you got text cat money? <laughs> you do. No, don't do it. Are you a bitch? Oh, ah. Uh.
late January. Two games in January 